Welcome to another episode of Mac One on One, brought to you by Mac One on One.net. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with an often underutilized program, and that's the dictionary program or application. It comes free with your Macintosh operating system, and it's been enhanced with some pretty useful features in System 10.5 or the Leopard operating system, which is the operating system I'm working under now for this tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do is correctly set up the dictionary application. Double click on your hard drive, go over to applications, double click, locate the dictionary application, double click to launch it. Once it launches, you'll want to go under dictionary and preferences. You want to make sure that the dictionary is checked, thesaurus is checked, apple is checked, and also to add the functionality of Wikipedia, make sure Wikipedia has been checked, and then scroll down, and also, I like to check, open the dictionary panel. Once that's been done, you want to close off your windows. Then let's see some real-world examples of this application in use. Let's say we've got an email. In this email, I'm wanting to send it out to my friends, and I'm wanting to cordially invite them to a party. Obviously, though, the word cordially has been underlined, indicating that it is probably spelled wrong. Now, with the new functionality of the dictionary application, you will simply hold down on the control button and then click one time on the word in question. You can see here it brings up the alternative spelling cordially. It also allows me to ignore that spelling so it doesn't underline it in the future, to learn the spelling so that it will not underline in the future, search in Spotlight, Google, look it up in dictionary, which we'll talk about in a minute, and some other more common functions. In this case, what we need to do is select the properly spelled cordially. And then, let's say party would be a correct spelling and a correct word, but I just would like to use something with, I don't know, a little fancier for this invitation. So in that case, I need a thesaurus. Well, a thesaurus is just a click away. Again, hold down on the control button, click on the word party, go down to dictionary, click on dictionary. Now in the dictionary, it tells us that a party is a social gathering of invited guests. I need an alternative word for party. So click on the word dictionary and select thesaurus. Once you've selected thesaurus, now my choices change and I'm given words such as a gathering, a function, an affair, a celebration, all the way down to wingding. Let's say that I've decided the word celebration is much more appropriate for this email. The word party has already been highlighted, so all I simply need to do is type the word celebration. As you can see, in just a couple of clicks, we corrected a misspelled word, and we were able to select a more appropriate alternative word. Now let's look at another real-world example of this uh, programming use. Let's say that we're looking at the CNN website or any website, and let's say that one of the things that we want to do is to be able to get additional information on a word or a topic. Let's say in this case that it is the word Obama. Simply hold down the control button, click the word Obama, look up in dictionary. Now the dictionary doesn't find any entries, but if you click on more, it will bring up the Wikipedia entry. So from there you actually can read the Wikipedia entry for Barack Obama and you can click on any of these hyperlinks to be taken to additional information. Now, one of the limitations with the dictionary function is the fact that you cannot uh, use it to look up words or additional information on active hyperlinks. Here, this Michelle Obama's Savvy Sacrifice, that's a hyperlink. I can click it to be taken to the story. If I hold down the control key and click on Savvy, it's not going to give me the option to look the word up or get more information. So what I'm going to have to do is actually launch that hyperlink, which opens up a uh, web page in Time Magazine's website, and then find the word again. There it is, same title, but it's no longer a clickable hyperlink. So I hold down the control button, click on the word savvy, and look it up in the dictionary if I'm unsure what the word savvy means. Here it says it's a noun, and it means shrewdness and practical knowledge in politics or business. As you can see, the Dictionary Applications has many uses, especially today when things like spelling and definition are pretty critical when you're sending emails or getting your information online. 
I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Mac OS 10.5 tip, and please check back to Mac One-on-One -on -one for more episodes like these in the future. Thanks.